Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber and I uh, just want to do a quick recap on some of the coins we've spoken about yesterday um, one of them being Safe Haven we did see we got the breakout above this level which we've been uh, waiting for um, and we're also getting a retest of the support right now okay so you know old resistance became new support and uh, what I wanted to see is uh, the price action stay above this level now. If we do see it come back down below this support and get a close uh, down there, I think it's you know it's a high probability that we could be coming down and we could see the short term end of this move. As you can see, it's quite a large move that Safe Haven has made. All right, and we've got three fuels to the upside. So there's no reason why you know this move has to continue you know at the end of the day um it does look like it could be the end of the move only if it drops below there but um as you, if you look at the price if you look at the price uh, history in this level it does look like a zone that's like not got much resistance uh, and so on all right but then again you could say that from when we broke here i did believe that we were going up there anyway uh, but now we broke this level which is not really much of a it's, it's not a very you know thick uh, resistance level it wasn't um, in the first place anyway but um, it would be nice to see the price continue up that way uh, like I say we just need to see it continue this price action above this level it could bounce around for a bit preferably it would do another flag again and it would go up and then we'd probably see you know a slowly slow slow retracement um before you know another continuation up over time but yeah we just have to wait and see how that plays out guys it is quite a large move overall it's been printed on this chart and if you got in from the bottom we'll be making roughly 1400 percent uh profits on that so yeah, safe havens have uh, been performing uh, pretty well shows that there's some life in the chart and the long-term perspective is uh, quite good as well uh, in my personal opinion so it's definitely worth if you are going to be taking profits it's definitely worth keeping a little something in there for the long term to see where this could potentially go in the future uh, we are in a bull run guys uh, it is an old coin season despite what some might think they focus on the higher cap coins even those are kind of popping off um, at the moment but you're not going to see the kind of gains in those coins especially in the short term that you're going to see in these low caps all right so if you're not into the low cap coins it's something you definitely should look into and if you're watching this video i guess that's the journey that you're on anyway okay spark point yeah, spark point obviously it, it's, it's, it came up and it's kind of slowly doing these little wavy patterns now um, the only question is is will it continue to wave to the upside or will it continue to wave to the downside um, in the short term okay it's obviously eventually it's going to go to the moon I'm long term holding this at the moment no longer trading spark point done extremely well but it's time to call it a day with trading it um, for me personally that is you can obviously still do that but um with spark point i'm in a really good position to hold um you know done some great trades um and, and made a lot uh you know i am a hodler guys I'm, I'm a hodler and i'm a trader so like it just depends you know what the charts looking at like at the time you know for something like safe haven for example if we come back down below this level it does make sense for me to take some profit right and let it ride down and then put in a huddle position um, at a lower price all right you know after that I might decide okay right kind of finish with safe haven trading wise now um, I've managed to accumulate enough to just hold at a very good price and uh, that's how I build my portfolio okay so yeah spark point um, it will be nice to see it, you know, nice and quickly 
come back up and start to make some new levels of highs but there's no reason why this should cool off a little bit and kind of you know find a you know a sideways zone for a little while um before it continues to the upside these moves and these price gains are not going to happen overnight all of the time obviously this was a unique situation where we caught the bottom and we just got you know that crazy price rise price increase and it's still a low cap um, there's no reason why we can't see many more of those um over the next you know few months to years if if that but yeah spot point is one of my favorites at the moment Cody is another one we talked about long term hold for me um it's going in the right direction so yeah nothing to worry about there nothing to complain about um everything's kind of going my way at the moment you know i'm not really taking heavy losses in these markets at the moment so we're quite happy with the performance of the altcoins especially the low caps um i think i need to kind of knock all down and find something else to look into now um that i can bring to you guys and uh, kind of get my thinking cap on get searching for those low cap gems there's a few coming through in the comments that i have looked at nothing that's really you know really grabbed my attention at the moment like there are a few but they're very early and there's no not really any chart structure um, and it is speculation in this game guys um you know there's an old time saying that says show me the chart and i'll tell you the news so when you can find a bullish chart set up like swipe for example when I posted the chart set up for swipe obviously what I was saying is it looked like we were going to break this level alright so I was buying in underneath that level we did get a breakout you know and um, obviously I mean the very next day what you're seeing is, is you're seeing or, or just before the breakout you've got a lot of news you've got news coming out on swipe you've got chain link partnership you've got carbon partnership you've got staking you've got all sorts of all of a sudden coming through snap 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 yeah and um so it's like show me the chart and i'll tell you to find a good chart setup yeah and these people are smart you know they, they they're not gonna uh, drop good news in in a bear market right they're gonna drop it in a bull market right so when you see the chart getting ready for a breakout it's no surprise that you see you know some hot news coming off the plate right with swipe um obviously we can see we did get a breakout and we now are getting a retest of the uh breakout level all right so what i do expect for this is that we get this bounce all right will we get it we'll have to just wait and see or will we just fall through and fall by the wayside um i'm banking on it getting a bounce anywhere in this in this range all right and a continuation to the upside uh, we'll have to wait and see if that plays out obviously you can see the rsi is falling not quite in over sold territory but it has taken a nice dip after being all the way up there in the overbought territory so there's no reason why we can't get a bounce off of that that is only on a four hour time frame by the way but if you see it does look like there could be a little curl over on the mat d but we'll just have to wait and see how that plays out just based on the horizontals right if you're trading the horizontals this will be a perfect time uh, to put some buy orders in um down here just off the line and get a big bounce to the upside all right guys so yeah it's just a quick recap a quick update on those coins uh let's see how it plays out guys if you haven't subscribed already please do me a favor and do that like and comment of course and yeah i'll see you again it's time.